hello we have 6 power a plus 6 power b equal to 42 a plus b equal to 3 we will solve this for a and b first of all let's make this equation number first and this as equation number second so from this very equation that is from equation first we have 6 power a plus 6 power b equal to 42 now let's multiply this by 6 power a on both sides so we have 6 power a times 6 power a plus 6 power b equal to 42 times 6 power a multiply these this is 6 power a times 6 power a plus 6 power a times 6 power b equal to 42 times 6 power a right now this is 6 power a multiplied by 6 power a so this is 6 power a whole square I mean plus now here bases are same so these powers will get added so this is 6 power a plus b equals 42 times 6 power a but that is 6 power a square plus 6 power now from the question we have a plus b equal to 3 so this is 6 cubed equal 42 times 6 power a so in the next step this is 6 power a square plus now this 6 cube is 216 equal to 42 times 6 power a now move this to the left hand side so we have 6 power a whole square minus 42 times 6 power a plus 216 equals 0 now in the next step let let the 6 power a equals x so that this equation can be written as x square minus 42x plus 216 equals 0. Now in order to factorize this, we know this equation can be written as this is x square plus a plus b x plus a times b, right? We can factorize this 216 as 6 times 36 because 6 times 36 is 216 and if we add these two we get 42 so but here this is negative so these both should be negative numbers so we have a equal to minus 6 and b equal to minus 36 so we'll write this as x square minus 42 is 6 plus 36 x plus minus 6 times minus 36 right so that is this is x square now multiply this so this is minus 6x minus 36x plus minus 6 minus 36 equals 0 now from the first two take x common so this is x minus 6 and from these two we'll take minus 36 common so here we are left with x and here we are left with minus 6 equals 0 now x minus 6 and x minus 6 take it as common so this is x minus 6 times x minus 36 equals 0 so that means we have two solutions here in case first we have x minus 6 equals 0 and in case second we have x minus 36 equals 0 that means this x is equal to 6 now let us recall this x is equal to 6 power a x is equal to 6 power a so that means 6 power a 
is equal to 6 or this is 6 power 1 now since the bases are same on both sides so power will be equal so we have a equal to 1 and in k second we can write x equal to 36 right now as we have as we know x is equal 6 power a so 6 power a is equal to 36 that is 6 square so that means a is equal to 2 so when a is equal to 1 we know from equation 2 a plus b equal to 3 so that means this 1 plus b is equal to 3 or b is equal to 2 and when we have a equal to 2 so that means a plus b equal to 3 implies that 2 plus b equal to 3 that means b is equal to 3 minus 2 that's 1 so two solution pairs are 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 so these are the two solutions of the given problem thanks for watching